Have you ever been deceived? Have you ever thought that this one plan or idea or belief that you had was so awesome, so true, and so right, that when the truth finally came to light, it completely threw you for a loop emotionally? In high school, I was involved in a dance group. We decided to dance to this song by Queen Latifah called Unity. Some of you are hearing this and saying to yourselves, and to me, even though I cannot hear you because this is a video, nevertheless, some of you are hearing this and saying, Man, what are you talking about? Queen Latifah is an actress. Listen, before Queen Latifah was an actress, Queen Latifah was a rapper. Anyway, practice when we would nail a particular part of our routine we'd be jumping up and down we'd be hugging each other like we just won the so you think you can dance competition well the time finally came when we were supposed to perform so there we are we're in a room full of our peers waiting for our name to be called you know there's some other groups standing around right and, and you know they kind of look like they know what they're doing and isn't it always that way though when you look around and you notice people who are really confident then you start to question your own confidence but then you brush it off because it's too traumatic to admit that all your hard work may have been for nothing anyway our name gets called and we get up there in front of everyone we get into our poses you know like pretty good about ourselves and then the music starts and we start circling one another and then the beat drops and we go into our routine and let's just say we are not getting the reaction from the crowd that we had been hoping for and as it dawns on us that our perception of how good we actually are did not match the crowd's perception of how good we thought we were things got rough I mean, at one point, I think I might have looked over at my friend and she looked like she had just given up. And we managed to make it through this routine. And then we went off the kind of stage-ish type area. But the real pain was about to begin because then the professional dance troupe came up and the crowd went wild. And as I watched this nightmare of the realization of our performance compared to their performance as it unfolded, it was almost too much to bear. You can feel pretty confident about what you think you know until someone who really knows what they're doing comes around. Thinking about that story from my younger years reminds me of how deceived I was about my own raw dance talent. One scripture that I think about that talks about being deceived is in James 1 22. Basically it says, do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself, do what it says. You can emotionally feel like you know what you're doing, but in practice completely fall apart. That's called being deceived. And the scary thing about being deceived is that you don't know you're deceived. Spiritually, this can happen to us all the time. We read the Bible from an intellectual perspective and we memorize scripture, but we don't actually put them into practice. Another scripture that I think of that helps me see the root of why we can allow ourselves to sometimes be deceived is in Obadiah 1 verse 3. It says the pride of your heart deceives you and you say to yourself, who can bring me down to the ground? The root of deception is pride. Dig deep enough into a deceived heart and you will find pride. An inability to recognize or believe that you could be wrong. What's the solution to being deceived? And for me, what really helps are two things. Number one, be humble. I have to continuously make a decision to throw out my preconceived ideas and approach things with an open heart to learn and be taught. Number two, put it in practice. It's not enough just to hear the truth. You have to put it in practice. Putting it into practice in humility reveals if it's true or not. Maybe for you it's something else. Maybe you struggle with believing in the Bible. Maybe you struggle with is Christianity true or not. You'll never know unless you approach it with humility and you make a decision to actually try and put it into practice. If this video has helped you at all, please feel free to like it. Please feel free to share it. If you want a deeper Bible study, reach out to me. If you would like to hear more on a particular topic, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.